Today on the channel, our deep dive into the Jax Class Superstars line continues with the Ringside Collectibles exclusive McMahon Helmsley era two pack. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Jax Classic Superstars unboxing and review, a Tuesday tradition here on this very YouTube channel. But today, we got the Ringside Collectibles exclusive McMahon Helmsley era 2-pack. But for all your Ringside Collectible exclusive needs and wrestling figure needs, make sure you're hitting up Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10%. Gotta get a deal out there, but today... We're diving into this two-pack of, of course, Stephanie McMahon and Triple H from their time together. And I guess, hey, they're still together if you want to count that as they are married in real life, as we do know. But of course, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's check out the packaging on this one. You can see that old ringside collectible sticker right down there in the corner. Uh, denotes that it's a ringside collectible exclusive and we had many two-pack exclusives at ringside and we're busting into all of them here on the channel so make sure you do subscribe but looking good here you got stephanie McMahon, you got triple h you got two title belts here absolutely love those we'll dive into those as well got their names down the bottom jazz classic superstar logos at the top we know it we love it mcmahon helmsley era on the side right there and then you got a little glamour shot action over there. You got old Triple H and Stephanie looking only like they could look if they were in a two-pack in the Jax Class Superstars line. Big cross sell down below. How about that? And then you got Stephanie and Triple H. Let's see in the back what's going on back here. Let's see. Collect them all. Class Superstar Series 18. You got Stone Cold Steve Austin, Rikishi, Val Venus, Sonny, Kane, Honky Tonk Man, Jim Ross, Mabel, May Young, and the LJN Ric Flair. Man, that is a huge set. Can you imagine if Mattel made sets that big in this day and age, or AEW for that matter? Just absolutely crazy how many figures we got back then. This is from 2008, for those keeping track at home. Triple H, weight 270 pounds, 6 foot 4, finishing move, the good old pedigree. Stephanie McMahon Helmsley, nothing, nothing. No details on her at all. They didn't want to say anything about her, apparently. So that's the way it goes sometimes, I guess. Without further ado, let's dive into this package here. See what's going on. See what all the fuss is about. And I'll pull it out, maybe. Maybe I'll pull it out. I don't know. Uh, come on. Come on. There we go. There it is. All right. Getting down to it. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Plastic prison time. What's going on with the old McMahon Helmsley era? What an era it was, as we all know. There it is, looking good right there. I'm gonna pop these belts out. There we go. Pop Stephanie out. Pop Triple H out. See you later. Goodbye. And we're gonna start with these belts, then we're gonna dive into Stephanie first. But let's look at this women's title belt. I guess we'll look at each one and then a figure. That's the way we'll do it here. But we do get the women's title belt. And we've said this numerous times in these Jax Class Superstars unboxing videos. Absolutely love the painted on belts that Jax gave us. I still think they are better than Mattel's current day. Better than AEW's. Absolutely love the Jax painted on belts. And that's what we got right here. We got the old women's championship belt. Uh, painted a little bit uneven or maybe sculpted a little uneven on this one. But boy, the addition of color really does make something like this pop. So I do like this belt uh, very much, very much. But then we get old Stephanie McMahon here. And of course, it is Jax. Now, Jax only had one female body style. So all the females, exact same. So we get that with Stephanie McMahon here. Not a terrible likeness on Stephanie McMahon, especially for the Jax era. I think if you know Stephanie McMahon and you know your Jax figures, you would know this is Stephanie McMahon at the end of the day. Good brown hair sculpt on her throughout. Uh, good blue eyes on her, pink lips. She really does look like a girl that was out clubbing back in college. Uh, that's kind of what she looks like. A girl that's out clubbing back in college. Maybe had a few drinks in her. A little bit sweaty. Kind of has a little glisten to her a little bit there. Uh, maybe it's a hot summer night out at the clubs. Who knows? But I think it looks like Stephanie McMahon. There's no issues there with me. We do get a soft good shirt on here, which is always nice. I love a good soft good shirt. It does say 
SMH, Stephanie McMahon Helmsley. Got that on her shirt. Of course, she wore this at the time. Got a little uh, pink wrist tape on both hands there. And then, of course, you got the pink top underneath here painted on. Uh, of course, the shirt is the main event here. That's what you're going to leave on this figure here. Black pants throughout, black boots. Then you got the high heel boots going on. No peg holes, anything like that. She's going to be one of those ones probably pretty difficult to stand. Yeah, as you can see, she's not going to stand very good, that's for sure. Well, there you go. I just approved that wrong right here and there, but uh, definitely interesting. She does have one Fist of Fury and one open hand as well. Articulation-wise, arms go all the way around. You got a single-jointed elbow, hands back and forth, head back and forth, waist back and forth, big old splits that way, bend at the knee, bend at the ankle, and that's all you get for articulation with the Jax Classic Superstar Stephanie McMahon here. But not a bad figure for what it was for the time, for 2008, not a bad female figure. Of course, that title belt really brings it home. A good-looking figure when you had that belt. Good figure without it. There you go. So Stephanie McMahon first up here. Now we get the main event, the main event, old Triple H, and we do get that world title from this era. Uh, not a big fan. Of course, uh, you, you like what you like, you don't what you don't, as we always say on the channel here. I like the Wing Deagle title belt. Maybe that's because when I grew up with the Hogans and Warriors carrying that bad boy around, but this was kind of the next incarnation, really. This has kind of felt like the second one after that one, and obviously there was ones before that one, but you know what I mean. But of course, The Rock held this, Mankind held this, Triple H held this, a lot of people held this title belt. Uh, but not bad. Once again, painted on title belt all day long. Absolutely love this. Wish they could have done this for every belt. Obviously, it would have cost a lot more. But no problems with this belt here. Definitely fits old Triple H. Then we get Triple H here. And once again, soft goods running wild. We got that denim and leather. And you know what they say about denim and leather? It brought us all together. But it was you back there in the back that set our spirit free. Like a young Saxon. And if you don't know your Saxon, man, check out Saxon. Uh, but that's a very cool one for Triple H here. I remember at the time, I was wearing a denim and leather jacket at the time, repping all my bands, all that kind of stuff. So when Triple H returned from his quad injury, he came back wearing this. I mean, one of the magical returns. There's been a lot of magical returns over the years. But one of the ones that really got people up off their feet, there's no doubt about it. And I thought it was really cool. He was rocking the heavy metal style is what he was doing right there. Uh, definitely love the denim and leather pleather maybe in this case I guess but definitely looks good definitely an amazing Triple H head sculpt always like this one love the open mouth here looks like he's yelling he's doing his little entrance thing definitely looking good even his hair's kind of got a glisten to it maybe that's the Jack Sticky disease who knows but definitely looks good in the hair department the beard everything looks dynamite on this Triple H figure he's got his blue jeans on got his black shoes on got a black shirt underneath that says Triple H it's a very interesting one because it is there's his abs sticking through I don't know if anybody has that through a shirt Shirt, but it is what it is. You got the Triple H logo on the back of the leather jacket as well. Just a fabulous, fabulous looking figure. Of course, articulation can be identical to Stephanie McMahon's. This Jacks, they have the same articulation. But always did like this figure a whole lot. We later on got this from Mattel in the Defining Moments days. I gotta say, for me, you may be different. I prefer this one over the Mattel one. The Mattel one, I don't know, something looks weird. The the very pale kind of jean color looks funny. And the soft goods jeans, I always felt, kind of looked a little bit funny. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. But I always preferred this one. I do think Mattel could run this one back as an ultimate one of these days. Or maybe an updated elite, who knows. But I think they could do a much better job in 2023 than they did back in 2010, 2011. No doubt about that for sure. But definitely cool. Definitely cool to get Stephanie and Triple H in a two-pack. Say what you want about the McMahon Helmsley era. It was definitely iconic. It was definitely memorable. And I guess it's good to have at least a little representation in our action figure fed and our Jax Classic Superstars line of this momentous time in professional wrestling history. Sure, why not? There it is. But there's Stephanie McMahon. There's Triple H. There's the McMahon Helmsley era ringside collectibles exclusive two-pack. What are your thoughts on this two-pack? Easy pickup, easy pass. Do you remember this one back in the day? Let me know your thoughts and comments down in the comments section down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the old notification bell. As we have Jack's Classic Superstar videos every single Tuesday here on the channel. You don't want to miss out on any of those. And of course, don't miss out on the Patreon where you can get years ahead in some of these videos uh, at this point over there if you're a Classic Superstars fan. So check out the Patreon for early unboxing things all kinds of stuff over there every single day and best of all you do support the channel you can also support the channel at prosnts.com search 
Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the McMahon Helmsley era and Jack's classic superstars everywhere, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.